Well, welcome back, everybody. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded a new video. However, with the holidays and family in town and hustle and bustle of work, I decided to take it off and just really enjoy the family, friends. You know, that's that's really what the holidays are all about. Enjoying our loved ones and those closest to us. So, with that being said, I'm hoping and praying you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year's. Um, praying this 2019 is full of many blessings and great opportunities for you guys. Uh, I know it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a great, great year. Big things to come. Anyways, we are headed to Sanibel right now. We actually just got into Sanibel. We're headed to the lighthouse for some sheep's head fishing. I was talking to a couple buddies of mine the past two weeks. I guess they've been coming in really, really thick. Good size to them. A couple pounders, a couple, they've been catching them six, eight pounders even. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully they're in. Hopefully they cooperate. We picked up some crabs, some shrimp. We're going to give it a whirl, see what happens. But. I'll get back to you guys when we get parked and ready to roll. That, my friend, is no bueno. Ridiculous. But what are we going to do? Alrighty. So quick little tidbit on this whole parking fee debacle. Not too happy. Um, those of you who are familiar with Sanibel Captiva area, the price of parking, the fees have gone up from $4 to $5 an hour to park, which is absolutely absolutely ridiculous but I guess there's a reason however there is a parking pass that you can get and I had which expired in November went to go get it they wouldn't let me get it because my vehicle registration was expired as of a few days so I had to put ten dollars to fish for two hours so let's see how this goes because I'm not gonna put any more money in that machine until I get my parking pass so we have two hours let's give it hell guys Thank you. 
Didn't get it on film, but we got one nice 19 right on the dot. about 14 inches not the greatest but they're real fat and he's gonna do for a fish fry oh my goodness not sure if the uh, hip broke me off grouper nice grouper right in the rocks all right guys after that break off um, I guess I'll show you guys what I'm working with as far as rigging wise. Simple stuff guys, super, super, stupid simple for sheep's head. I know a lot of guys ask me, you know, we'll be fishing and they're like, Sam, why am I not catching? I'm using basically the same thing as you, you know, light rig and <clears throat> 30 pound leader. Well, that's, that's, that's why. A lot of people don't realize that sheep head are super, super, their eyesight is amazing. Super smart fish. That's why I use 10 pound braid. Can't really see it, but 10 pound braid, I use 15 pound mono. I'm sorry, fluorocarbon leader. I use mono for my bigger rigs. For a sheep's head and snook, I love fluoro, only because it's that much less visible. Um, don't go crazy buying those 20, $15 spools, guys. This one's an offshore angler extreme. 15 pounds, that's all you need. 15 pounds. Tie it uni to uni. You get you a little crimp weight. About that size for heavy current. And then I just use a owner one knot mosquito hook. That's it guys. That's all you need. Get that small little crab nothing bigger than a quarter size about that and you're in business you have a lethal setup and you guys will get them i promise you that all right boys and girls i don't know if you guys i don't know if you guys can see right down there where my rod tip is pointed there's a monster sheep's head there's a few but there's one that is just god almighty I'm trying to get my crap to sit there long enough I think he just picked it up.
another thing, guys. Please be responsible with your trash, especially your line. Poor bird right here has about, I don't know, 100 feet of braided line all up on his leg, tied up. Poor thing won't let me grab him, obviously, but. Big boy just went down after this crab. Hopefully he gets it. We'll see. sure if he's eating it or if he just went down to stare at it oh oh yeah he picked it up here we go gonna maneuver this around these rocks. Look at those teeth. A face only a mother can love. big girl come on girl Gorgeous fish. Right in the corner of the mouth. Ah, just like that. Didn't even feel the bite. The magic of sheep's head. big sheep head down there. There's two crabs already. I barely felt the line move and I went, I reeled it up and there was nothing on the hook. Usually when you're sheep's head fishing that happens that means there's a big one down there. 
for whatever reason, the bigger ones, you can barely feel them. Nope. Yeah, there was one. Like I was saying, the bigger ones, you can almost always, for whatever reason, the big, big ones, you can barely feel them bite. The little ones are real savage, but the big ones are real slow when they bite. Look at that. Third one in a row, back to back. Looks like it came back for the fourth crab. Here we go. Oh my god. Seven crabs later. He's on. He's off. Wow. What a beast. Not the same one from earlier. A little smaller. A lot smaller actually, but he's still nice. Alright guys, the day kind of got away from me after cleaning those sheep's head at the uh, boat ramp. I am headed on my way to pick up my wife now for date night. But all in all, it was a great day. I mean, awesome fish, beautiful weather. Lost a few, uh, like you guys saw from the pier. I guess we weren't getting them because they were about four to six feet from the surface we were fishing on the ground but that's how it is guys especially with sheep's head you gotta really really play with them they sometimes they want it a couple feet from the surface sometimes they want it on the pilings sometimes they'll want it in the current bouncing off the bottom and you know it, it is what it is you just got to play their games but that was it hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know in the comments below. I've had a few tell me that they want to see how I prepare the fish. Well, if you guys want to catch, clean, and cook, let me know on the bottom in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you guys would like to see that on your next video. Until then, God bless, and be safe. Love you guys.